Hi everyone, Christine here. I'm so excited to be sharing this video and content with you here today. This video is all about what to do when you're lacking creative inspiration for your solopreneur business, right? You get that idea and you're really motivated right out of the gate and you just want to tackle things and accomplish and that's probably how you felt actually at the start of this program. Yeah, I'm going to sit down, I'm going to do the work, I'm going to go, go, go and then there comes a point where it feels like you're running out of gas and the engine's starting to go put, 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 put and you're like, oh no, there's no gas station around, what am I going to do? And that's just a kind of an analogy or metaphor to describe what happens in every entrepreneur's journey or a solopreneur specifically because their work is heart driven and it tends to be creative work and reflective of soul expression. And that requires inspiration. And where do you get inspiration? Inspiration really comes when you're feeling in alignment in your life and things are balanced and you're, you're excited and you get those inspired ideas that give you energy to tackle your tasks, right? But we're creatures that can't always run up here on 100% creative inspiration, right? There comes a point where we kind of have to actually go back into a lower level of creative inspiration and don't think of it that you're not at your peak when you're coming down here. Think of it that you're coming back to recharge your battery, to gather your energy so that you can come back up and rise and shine and, 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 and then complete that work that does have that creative inspiration edge to it, okay? So a lot of women I work with, they'll say, hey, you know what, I didn't have a good week. It was just kind of blah. I I lost my, my spark, my magic. I just... I just wasn't there and they'll get really down and they'll beat themselves up about it and I want to first say your homework is to not beat yourself up for when you're in that divot and know and understand that the divot is something we all go through and it's all part of it and understand and trust me when I say it goes in ebbs and flows and the worst thing you could do is beat yourself up when you're in the ebb because that's not going to do any any good um, making yourself feel even worse is going to lower your vibration and attract less ideal circumstances to you. So rather just honor, oh, I'm going through this phase of it and take it as a cue that what you need in that phase of it is to replenish your tank. Honor that. Honor that that phase of it requires you to replenish your tank and re-energize your battery. Go fill up the, the tank of gas so that you can come back with that magic, with that creative edge with that inspiration. So in this video I want to ask you what can you do that you know does refill your tank? You know if, if, you, if you feel you're running out of gas simply putting pedal to the metal and trying to drive faster isn't going to put more gas in the tank. So trying to force inspiration and creativity when you're in the divot it's not going to make more come. It's just going to absolutely deplete any remaining last uh, idea you you have so rather than trying to like squeeze water out of something that's already depleted you need to go to the source of where you get that water and fill up your bucket so what are you going to do to fill up your bucket i'm going to share some ideas something that i'm doing right now as i record this video is i took a social media break so i was working a lot of hours and i had a lot of creative inspiration going on and then I started puttering out because I was going too hard on the hustle category and not enough in the alignment and balance category and that's why it sounds like I have a cold right now because I'm just recovering from my cold because my body literally shut down on me it was like uh uh you're going too hard we're gonna get your attention and force you to prioritize more of your self care so that you can get balanced and aligned again and then come back with that full tank of creative inspiration, right? So for me, it was looking at my, and this is what you'll do too, you're going to look at your pie. Okay, this is your pie. This is how much you have to give. Now, where in your pie have you been giving too much in this and not enough in that, right? So you might think, okay, well, now that you mention it, I haven't really been prioritizing my self-care, and I'd like to allocate more time for that so that I have a high vibration. Okay, so how can you do that? What 
is something that isn't essential for you to do this week that you could shave off to give you a little bit more of that self-care to fill your tank so that you can come back inspired? Well, one example would be maybe this week you're giving yourself permission to not do a single social media post. I know, right? We all talk about consistency with social media, but often that can bring in this anxiety feeling like, oh, I haven't done my post today, and oh, I got, I got to think of something and write something. But what if it's actually better for you to not force those posts when you just need a break from it so that you can come back and the posts flow out of you without force, right? So I have given myself permission that for a week, I'm not even worrying about Instagram. I'm not worrying about Facebook. I'm not worrying about the group I run. And I'm giving myself permission so that I can do more self-care, get more balance and alignment so that I can come back fully recharged and better than before. Another example would be, so that's more a, a, a microcosm approach, like specific way you can modify your day-to-day but a more macrocosm to uh, um, create a uh, change in your schedule in your life to get more balanced when things have been a little bit too hard on the hustle and you want more in the, the alignment would be unplugging literally by traveling, okay? So you've been go, 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 working on the weekends, working maybe full-time still in your job or building your business, and there comes a point where you deserve a true, true rejuvenating rest from it. So maybe it's a staycation. Maybe you're just going to get a hotel in your city. Maybe you're going to go to the spa, or maybe you're going to actually go for multiple weeks far away, truly unplug, connect with nature, do whatever your soul is craving and guiding you to do, knowing that your business is your your business idea, your solopreneur business, it's not going to disappear. That the gift you're giving yourself from unplugging and traveling is going to refill you so powerfully that you're going to be like the energizer bunny coming back with so much to give, and it's going to feel like it's almost unlimited, this magic that's coming forth from you. But it wouldn't have been there if you kept grinding it out when you really needed to take that step away, okay? So as you go along your solopreneur journey, and maybe you're a year into it, and you're starting to feel that puttering out, that's just your cue. Okay, what can I do to refill my tank? What can I do to raise my own vibration so that I can come back stronger? Because that's that lack of that um, that lack of something is a cue that you need to fill your tank elsewhere so that it comes back over here. Okay, so an example of this is not only am I unplugging from my social media posts, giving myself permission to do that for this week, I also uh, I had been working so hard for so many years that I deserved. Uh, a true, true travel unplug break. And so I'm going to Vietnam, Cambodia, maybe even Thailand in a a day, even in Japan for about uh, four weeks, close to four weeks uh, this coming January 2018. So I I mean business when I say sometimes you really got to take those bold moves so you can come back stronger and more inspired than ever before. Okay, I hope this gives you some reassurance. It's okay to go through the phases. There's always a way to get back here, and you don't have to beat yourself when you're in that that little bit of a low because it's just temporary, and it's just to ensure that you prioritize what you need in all aspects of your life. Okay, I hope you have a beautiful day. Talk to you soon.